everyone, today we're doing functions. This video will cover function use. A future and following video will cover how to build your own custom functions in MATLAB. First things first, when we're looking at functions, we can just jump right into code, and these are the built-in task executors that come with the programming language. Your arguments are what go inside of the function. Let's say we've got a variable x, which contains a matrix of values. We can find the maximum of these values by using the pre-made function max and calling it on the actual variable x. If we execute this, I'm just using control enter to execute. That runs a section. Sections are defined by two um, percent signs as seen here. So we're in a section control enter. And you can see the answer comes out as 24. Simply max just goes through and finds the maximum value in the variable that you send to it. You don't have to send a variable specifically though, you can also send the values itself. In the second example, I'm doing max, you keep your parentheses going, but I, instead of putting x in here, just inserted the actual matrix values directly in there, and it'll run the exact same thing and give you the same output. You can choose it every way you want to do it. Moving forward, you're going to want to save your output. You're likely going to be calling a lot of functions throughout your code and your scripts. Saving your values is very important. To do that, very simple. You're just going to create the name of the variable you want, and then you can call the max function or whatever function you're using. So in this example, if we run it, we don't see any output here because I have it suppressed with a semicolon. If we run it again there, you can see max stress now outputs is 24. I want to keep that suppressed and calculate a future value here. You can just call your max stress variable. I multiply it by area to get the actual force that we're going to feel. We can run this, and then you start using your functions building better and more structured code to get your answers. Next, you can nest functions within themselves. That means you can call a function within another function, okay? And it's executed. The code looks at the functions inside, calculates those, and then moves outside, and then moves outside. In this example, I've got a new stress data here, y, all right, and there's some negative and positive values. If I'm looking to find the greatest magnitude of stress overall, right, we need to take the absolute value first and then take the maximum. Here I can call the absolute value on y, which takes that current vector, all those values, makes them positive and takes the absolute value. Then the max function around it will grab the largest value. We should come out with 58 here as a test, and max stress is 58. Again, you can do this all over the place. You can use these just as regular variables. Essentially, once you call them, you have that variable, you have that value that you can use later. If you're trying to find some help with these, it's not easy to find your functions. If you do know the function name and want to learn more about that function, go into your command window and type help and the function name. The documentation that MATLAB provides will come up, and you can go ahead and read through this if you want. Best tip here is to go down and click on the reference, the reference page here. This opens up what MATLAB provides in full documentation, and so you can figure out everything that's going on with the function, how it works, how to use it, you can also find different items about it. For example, here, if you call a um, bracket mi or any two values or variables there, you can actually grab the index out of the max function, which can be very helpful. All right, so that's you can use that help in your command line. Or if you want and you don't know the function name, let's say you're looking for something new that you think you should be able to round a variable, but you don't know what the call is or the function name is, Right here in the command window, bottom left here, or it's top left of the command window, browse for functions. You can click that, and now you can use the search bar up here. Let's say you're looking for something that calculates eigenvalues, so you search for eigen. Okay, and you can see all the factors that relate to it. I'm looking for something that rounds values. Go ahead and search for round, and there you see a bunch of different items that you can use to round functions, or round variables. This is a great way to find new things. Of course, the other option, go ahead and go to Google, search how to do blank, in MATLAB or in whatever language you're using and you can find some help on Stack Overflow or the actual documentation of the programming language. Thanks guys, I'll see ya. Hey everyone, this is Phil from Phil Parisi Code. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you're getting something out of these. If you are, please throw a like and subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you, keep on coding and enjoy the week.